this weather freak is up. So today we're going to talk about Crush facing huge backlash for lying in his apology and deleting his BLM posts. J-Hope facing backlash for liking Crush's apology and netizen speculating G-Dragon and Ives Wanyo are dating. So this is really crazy, so let's quickly get into the video now. Yesterday, two black fans have expressed their disappointment and sadness over Crush's actions on the concert where he skipped both of them and waved no at them just to go back to keep touching others' hands that were right next to them. Crush immediately faced backlash with many, calling him a disgusting racist. A few hours later, Crush uploaded an apology on his Instagram where he claimed he decided to skip a few people because of safety as he claimed they were being pushed against the fence and called this whole situation nothing but a misunderstanding. This apology only added oil to the fire as many have pointed out that there is multiple videos where you can clearly see Crush skipping only these two girls and then right away going back to touching his fan's hand right next to them. People are saying Crush is trying to gaslight everyone into thinking he did that for safety purpose and that it's just a misunderstanding, saying that he's clearly lying. To make this whole situation even worse, even though it seems like it really cannot get any worse, it did. Some fans have noticed that Crush's post for BLM is gone. Back to the apology, many have noticed that Crush have completely avoided addressing the actual situation and somehow a lot of Korean fans have accepted his apology. Like this apology, first of all, isn't for you, but for those black stands. Well, even though I wouldn't honestly call this an apology. This is what netizens had to say. Help, not Crush really deleted the BLM post. He don't. I have just been informed that Crush deleted all his BLM posts too. He's such a nasty individual. Why Crush is lying like that? Speaking of his apology, many idols have liked his apology, including J-Hope, who's became the main, let's say, character for this whole situation because somehow a lot of people have completely switched on to hate on J-Hope and completely ignore the situation with Crush, which is really, really concerning because how the hell you gonna ignore Crush being racist and put your full focus on J-Hope liking his apology? And honestly, it's always been like that. Whenever a BTS member is involved into something, they'll forget the main situation and hate on the BTS member instead of the person who actually deserves it. The fact some of y'all are more mad at Hobby for liking this post, but not the actual racist? Like, what? There's many people wondering why would J-Hope like this post. Some are saying that he can't speak English, so he probably randomly liked his post. But I have a way different resolution that makes more sense. Now, imagine you don't know about this whole situation with Crush. You didn't see any videos, you weren't on Twitter because you are simply too busy. You go on Instagram and see this post with Crush basically saying how he cares about his fans' safety, which is why he didn't touch some fans' hands. Most of you guys, including myself, keeping it real, would thought that he's amazing for that and that it's sweet that he cares about his fans and stuff like that. There is really really high possibility that J-Hope doesn't know the whole situation and simply thought it's just Crush talking about safety because Crush's apology was constructed to completely avoid the mention of what Crush is actually being accused of. He was very vague with his apology and didn't mention anything about skipping two fans to just go and give high five to the people right next to them. I think the fact that J-Hope is the only idol facing backlash for this is speaking for itself. So please, just stop putting the main focus on hobby and focus on the actual problem here that is way, way more important than him liking this stupid post. Moving on. Now, this is really, really crazy, but we know Korean netizens love to make a big deal even out of stickers 
cable idols use. G-Dragon recently posted on his Instagram story a gift he got from Miu Miu, thanking them for this gift. In this Insta story, he added multiple Miu Miu stickers, in which one of them happened to be Ives Won Young. This caused a huge sensation as Korean netizens went on online forum titled It's fascinating how GD uploaded about Won Young on his Insta to talk about it commenting No, but why? Is this real? I thought you were joking. So she was in the sticker at the bottom. And of course we have the infamous YouTuber So Jang who started the daily rumors between Won Young and G Dragon. So basically, Sojang pointed out that GD chose the sticker himself, and according to Sojang, he purposely put it below the word lovely. Then Sojang claimed he left Blackpink's Jenny for Ives Won Young. Now I just want to add from myself, I'm really wondering how does Sojang get this BS? Like, bro, this is some delusional sh. This caused G Dragon fans to trend on Twitter free G Dragon as his fans are tired of him being shipped with every single female idol and are hoping YG Entertainment will take legal actions. So that is it for today. Let me guys know what do you think down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn notifications on. So that is it for today. Bye!